was there a pointer? Thank you. Thank you. So my talk is about uh, ANEM neutral monitor data and this extensive survey we did on that. So as you all know, neutron monitors are the uh, main method of uh, uh, measuring co galactic cosmic ray fluxes on Earth. And uh, <clears throat> of course, they are used to study flares and GLEs and Phobos decreases and other heliospheric phenomena related to the sun. And <clears throat> when we download data from a specific station, we usually have four options. We have the station homepage or web server or FTP or whatever that are operated by the teams. <clears throat> they can be very different. And then we have uh, actually, first we have the VDC, which is this old collaboration, international collaboration. And they currently host the data at Nagoya, I think. And then also uh, Izmiran has hosted um, a mirror of this VDC data, but they also uh, host their own, own data and many uh, Eastern stations can be found there. And then we also have the Newton Monitor database, which is uh, maybe the most commonly used nowadays. And we have uh, looked through all of these to see that uh, is the data the same in each version and this is especially for one hour resolution and these results correspond to the situation in 2020 when the survey was done but of course since uh, the data can be updated or changed or corrupted or lost or anything it will of course not uh, be realistic in the future and here is a table of <clears throat> all these repositories, or so the main ones. And here's actually the result already that the, there's number of available stations in each source, and then the number of recommended or secondary source. Uh, well, in many cases, the recommended source and the secondary source can be the same or very close, or they can be combined to make a longer data set. Uh, just to give a quick overview of the different these four different types. So uh, here's an example, the uh, Oulu Neutron Monitor web page where you can access Oulu and DOM C and DOM B. You make a query and you get uh, either the plot or the <clears throat> values. Or then there's the Bartol Institute uh, FTP server where you can find their data. And uh, <clears throat> one thing to note is that, for example, Bartol hasn't, uh, they don't update the data after 2017. So after that, you have to use other sources. And I think many, many stations have moved to using NMDB as the sole, sole service. And NMDB is uh, the service uh, created when with this FP7 project uh, in 2008. Uh, it uh, originally hosted the European ANEMS, but of course later some uh, uh, international stations have been added. And ANEMDB has this uh, <clears throat> interesting system of uh, these data tables. So they uh, have an original uh, snapshot of the first version of the data for, for, for each station. And then when this data is updated at uh, the max resolution possible, it's changed into this RevOri uh, table. And there's also a separate table for one hour data. But uh, since the RevOri is based on the highest resolution data, for example, one minute, uh, it, it, there can be times when it's uh, the RevOri and one hour are not the same because the one minute data is only for specific time scale and if you rescale that to one hour it's it's not the same and on the right is the nest system if you use a web page to access the data how to access it there's uh, apparently uh, mysql and maybe other 
possible ways to access the data, but <clears throat> this is probably what most people use. But one uh, point of warning for people using this, especially if you study long time series, is that uh, at least currently NMDP doesn't really uh, let you download like uh, 60 years of one hour or or even monthly data, but uh, it uh, it will automatically decrease the <coughs> resolution if the query is too long. And that process can also change the data table, which might lead to a different data than you were looking for. But uh, maybe this will be improved in the future. Uh, VDC is uh, uh, I could go on long for all the history, but it's a, a world data center for cosmic rays, and it has. Uh, it used to have an FTP service, but it's now an HTTPS service where you can access the data, and they have different formats of data, but they all contain the same data. But it's like back from the time when the data was on a punch card, so they had this very old formats and VDC has the most number of stations but they might be uh, out to date in many cases or not, not updated and Izmiran is the uh, Pushko Institute of Terrestrial Magnetism Ionosphere and Radio Wave Propagation and uh, they offer that data for Russian stations and other Eastern stations and they they part of the data set is based on VDC uh, mirror that they have, but they are, have also <clears throat> updated some data or make, made some corrections there, but uh, in, in some cases there, there is no clear documentation that what, what has been done, but <clears throat> often they, they look quite plausible. And uh, yeah, so when you <clears throat> try to get data for a specific station for a specific time you have these four options and uh, what we notice that many times when you access the data you <clears throat> you don't get the same result for all sources and <clears throat> this means that it's kind of hard to trust that where should i get for each station to pick up this data so in order to uh, study this we downloaded all data from all stations and from all sources so that's like uh, I think there was uh, about 300 different 400 different uh, uh, data sets and then for each, each of these four ones we made a comparison and all the different versions also from NMDB and uh, tried to find which one has the best data. For this, we used uh, this kind of prime data criteria. So we took specific stations that uh, uh, they are more thoroughly explained in the uh, publication, but long-lived stations with stable data and no notable outliers or steps and no notable drifts and so forth. And then for each station uh, of this specific uh, cutoff bins, there's the low low one from under 1.75, and then 1.75 to 2.75, and then for higher cutoff stations, we just compare to the hmm, closest cutoff stations because it's it's too large to make a uh, kind of average. And we normalize the data to specific years, uh, actually 95, 96 or 75, 76, they are quite nice because they are quite stable years, there's no notable events and also if you compare the levels between these uh, separate by 20 years, they are almost the same yeah, for most station on average, so they are quite nice years to normalize the data into. And yeah, and then when we have this prime data, we can <coughs> com compare the data points to the uh, relevant prime data set. Here's a new new arc as an example. 
well, from VDC, we note that VDC has Swarthmore data separately and Newark data separately. So the station was moved moved uh, in the 70s in place, but in other sources, they are the one data set. And then here we use 10% uh, 10, 10 as a as a cutoff for for OK data. So if it's 10% away from the prime data, then it's pro most probably an outlier or some kind of error or step or something. And from this, we find the number of good data points. It's kind of hard to see, but but you you get the idea. And then, but of course, sometimes there might be some other specific occurrences in the data. So we also visually check the data is, is, is the selection like plausible and for example new arc has this four uh, percent drop in 2000 was it 15 or somewhere around there which is not inside this 10 percent and from this we have a list of all the recommendations this is just the main recommendation source but in the publication you can also find the secondary sources which is actually quite important because for example for many of the Bartle stations we note that the Bartle data is the best one to use but since they don't update after 2017 like every year we go onward and onward it's better to switch to NMDB which they also recommend to use so this is already a bit outdated, but all the usable data is, is included. And the prime stations we used are in bold, so they, they are there. And while doing this work, we also had to have make this huge list of all the different sources and all the specific parameters, like uh, for example, different stations have a different uh, acronyms and uh, different sources, and there might be different namings for the stations in different service. For for Thailand station is Thailand somewhere, and somewhere is it's this princess uh, something uh, name, and <clears throat> there's other cases too. But there's you can access this table too from the uh, supplements of the publication and there's th 30 different ones which show all the uh, available data points and the fraction of good good data points that can be found and this is a map map of all the stations and the recommended source and the uh, size of circle is the how much data there is available and you can see that Many long-lived stations <clears throat> have their own own service, but VDC has many of these like short-lived stations uh, saved there, and they might be something that people don't uh, might not know about and don't have the data for. So we did this huge analysis, and the results are for people to use, and of course. Uh, <clears throat> this is in no means like the final <laughs> version, but there, this uh, is some kind of like a work in progress and uh, the station teams and NMDB and the other services, we need to work together to kind of <clears throat> uh, maybe fix this situation that there is a multiple source for data and the users might not know what, what to use and how to get the best amount of data. and if. If they are studying a specific event, they might want to see where there might be data that is excluded in some other source. And here's the reference, and do you have any questions?